हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू क्लीन रूम सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग हियर द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेवलपिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर यूजिंग फॉर्मल मेथड्स इंस्टेड ऑफ क्लासिक एनालिसिस डिजाइन कोड एंड टेस्टिंग साइकल्स दिस मेथड इज यूज टू बिल्ड most reliable software this method was developed by harlan mills at ibm steps number 1 write the code correctly first time second verify the correctness before testing using this method software is built such that rather than identifying the defect introduction of defect is avoided prevention is better than cure specialized version of incremental process model here software is developed in the series of increments the critical functionalities are added in early increments and less important functionalities are added in later increments second one is that according to change in customer requirements new things may get added or existing things may get removed from the released increments increments are tested the clean room process model friends this is nothing but the clean room process model where different types of keys are used and the actual presentation or actual diagram clears the whole process of clean room where key processes work products processes and work products these are the two keys used in this process where there are very much customer requirements which are specification function usage goes to the next that is incremental development planning which is divided further into two box structure specification and design correctness verification and second one is usage modeling test case generation here the incremental development plan is driven and these both are again combined in statistical testing where failure of data sometimes may occurs and give the last quality certification model where measure of operational performance are carried out here source code and test cases are used for combining these two boxes for st statistical testing the improvement feedback is carried out friends here the clean room process where many activities are carried out in step by step format and all are connected to each other through the diagram where first activity that is customer requirements where requirement specification and usage specification customer requirements are divided into these two and these two again are combined in incremental development plan where output of these two is input to incremental 
develop plan and goes further revidation that is incremental design and documentation that means incremental development plan is divided into design and documentation in the design process correctness and verification for that purpose we are using the decision box if there is a correctness and verification carried out yes no conditions are carried out if yes then go to the statistical testing if no then again go to the first step and process will carried out from first to last that means incremental design suppose correctness or verifications are carried out yes go to the statistical testing and cert certification model again we have to check it is certified or not if certified then go to the incremental certified system if no then again go to the previous process and process further process is carried out up to the certified model these are the steps in clean room approach are formal specification second increment planning third requirement gathering fourth box structure specifications fifth formal design six correctness verification seven code generation and inspection eight statistical test planning number nine statistical used testing and last one is certification in the formal specification the software to be developed is defined using a formal method in second increment planning according to customer requirements and priorities increments are developed and delivered to the customer each increment must be validated separately using clean room process these increments must be integrated time to time specifications here two specifications are produced functional and usage in the functional specification it defines the required external system behavior in all circumstances of use forms the basis for incremental software dev development in the usage specification it defines usage scenario considering user person hardware device or other software sub classes may exist use a particular work session or transaction bounded by specific start and end events environment platform os environment system load etc forms the basis of statistical testing and quality certification incremental development planning here we are planning the increment first one development in that we are taking number one increment number of increments that is 1 2 3 up to n in the testing and certification these increments are tested and certified and finally the configurations are carried out incremental development requirement gathering here customer requirements are gathered and analyzed in this phase in the fourth bo box structure specification specification methods in which box structure is used to describe functional specification in this kind of specification at each level of refinement the creative definition of behavior data and procedures are separated out here the box structured design in the box structures are used to systematically move from an abstract specification to a detailed design providing implementation detail this is design of structure box structure box structure model there are black box 
straight box and clear box these are the models first black box gives an external view of the component provides a description of functional requirements without details on the internal structure and operations describes the user visible system input and responses state box gives an intermediate view of the component decomposes the black box into an internal state representation and an internal black box clear box gives a detailed view of component replaces the internal black box with a detailed design using structured programming constructs this is the box structure development system development is a process of step wise box decomposition this is nothing but but the box structures stimulus black box response box structure here stimulus as a input and black box there are many block box and response is an output block box structure principles the behavior of black box is same regardless of where in the system it is referenced the implementation of a black box is independent of implementation of other part of system referencing a black box is equivalent to referencing its corresponding clear box representation throughout the system for example 7 cloud b substituted for 5 plus 2 7 transaction closer ensures that a sound and complete set of transaction is identified to achieve the required system behavior black box level system stimuli, stimuli are necessary and sufficient to generate the required responses state box level defined transactions must be necessary and sufficient for the acquisition and preservation of all state data and the state data must be necessary and sufficient for the completion of all transactions clear box level procedural design and the internal black boxes must be include all transactions this is the black this is box structure principles where state migration data state data should be stored at as low or level as possible but as high as necessary for expedient downward migration as new black boxes are created in a clear box any state item reference slowly in a given black box may be migrated downward into that black box in upward migration when state items are duplicated in several places it can be moved to the nearest common parent common services reusable boxes may be created or referenced from a library of reusable components if from a library the common services pre certified component can reduce system size and complexity formal design increments are converted to component and architectural designs referred to as box architectural level design is called state box and component level design is called clear box six correct correctness verification in that the rigorous verification is carried out on design and then on coding at the first level of verification the set of correctness questions are used for more rigorous verification formal or mathematical methods are used for verification correctness verification the procedural control structures of structured programming are single entry single exit structures thus producing no side effects in control flow 
when it executes a given control structure simply transforms data from an input state to an output state this transformation is called as the structures program function this is the example correctness verification in designing clear box procedures you define an intended function then refine it into a control structure and new intended functions intended functions are recorded in the design and attached to the corresponding control structures refinements so clear boxes are composed of a finite number of control structures each of which can be checked for correctness against its intended function to verify the correctness of each control structures you derive its program function a correctness theorem formally defines how to do this for each control structures in terms of language independent correctness conditions this is the correctness verifications example correctness verification during the team review every correctness condition of every control structure is verified in turn each team member must agree that each condition is correct thus an error is possible only if every team member incorrectly verifies a condition if an informal approach cannot produce a on animus decision formal groups of correctness can be employed this is more efficient and produces better code than unit testing visual ads for verification code generation and inspection the box structure specification is translated into programming language the correctness of the code can be tested using walk through or inspection techniques finally correctness verification is done last one is statistical test planning the suite of test cases is designing for a statistical testing with this test planning activity the clean room activities such as specification design verification and code generation activities are conducted in parallel nine statistical use testing a series of tests are conducted statistical testing testing software according to the way users intend to use it the entire focus is on external system behavior not the internal of the design or implementation the certification team's goal is not to debug but to certify the software's quality this requires deep knowledge of expected usage but no knowledge of design or implementation information last one is certification after completion of verification inspection and use testing the increment is certified this increment can be integrated based on the data gathered during statistical testing the software can be given a certified reliability reliability is expressed as mttf and is computed according to specific mathematical reliability methods models sampling model component model certification model merits and demerits of clean room engineering merits are the zero defect software can be developed defects are discovered and removed during early stages of development cost effective static verification is carried out and the demerits are the formal mathematical proofs required to check the correctness of program developing such proofs is, is very expensive it also requires knowledge of mathematics and formal semantics of program these are the approaches clean room se differs from conventional and oose because of following reasons clean room approach emphasizes on statistical quality control mathematical proofs or formal methods are used to verify the design specification errors are uncovered by testing techniques Thank you so much.